Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening to everyone. Good night, brother. Good evening. How are you today? Ahí buscala. <clears throat> How are you, teacher? Oh, I'm very good. I thought you were asking someone else, but I'm very okay. good. Thank you so much for asking. And you? Okay, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, that's very good. Soy en día de descanso. Oh, really? In vacations? Yes. yes, yes. Wow. Okay, that's good. I hope you enjoyed your vacations. Go out Thanks. with the family, rest as much as possible, sleep. It's correct. Okay. So, guys, everyone, welcome to the class once again. It's really nice to see you another week. Uh, well, another week where we are going to learn something new and, well, the place where we are going to practice our English. So, it's really nice to see you once again, guys, and, well, I hope you had a great weekend that you enjoyed with your family, if you went out with your family and things like that. I hope you are here now with all the attitude, con toda la actitud, ¿verdad? So, um, well, once again, thank you so much for coming to the class. And we are going to start with uh, today's class, okay? But first of all, guys, I remember the last last class that it was on Thursday, actually. <clears throat> we saw a new topic. Can you tell me or can someone tell me what was the topic on Thursday? What was the tema? Can someone tell me what we saw? What was the topic? Uh huh. Nobody. The Not numbers. No. Numbers. Nombres. Descriptivos. No, descriptivos, creo. Demostrativos. Demostrativos, sí. Demonstrative. Yeah, demonstrative pronouns. Very good. So I'm going to ask someone randomly. Vamos a preguntarle a alguien, verdad? And we are going to see, y vamos a ver si es cierto que han estudiado. Uh, Me gustaría verlos, ¿verdad? Porque sé que algunos al preguntarle se van directamente al cuaderno. Y eso significa that you don't know. So, let me see. Um, Adrián, hello. 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 Lo escucho cortado, profe. Repítame, por favor. No. Um, what do you remember about the demonstrative pronouns? Espérenme, profe. Lo, lo busco. Ajá. Yo, yo. Ok, Luis. Tell me. Eh, eh, are... This, 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 uh -huh. those, uh -huh. uh, that. that, okay, Alba, what is the difference in pronunciation between este o esto, singular y plural? What is the difference that I said? ¿Cuál es la diferencia que les dije? ¿Cómo se mantiene la, la pronunciación? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. el this 
this y this. Es como más larga la, 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 la E. O sea, porque uh -huh. si usted dice this, o sea, se pierde uno, pero this es como más corto, es esto. Uh -huh. Y this es como esos, o sea, estos, estos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, can you give me an example using these? Un ejemplo. Mm -hmm. um, this is my house. Excellent, very good. This is my house. Now, let me see, uh, Maricela. Can you tell me which ones are the singulars and which one are the plurals? Uh, singular uh, is this mm -hmm. uh, plural is dos dos mm. dos are you sure? Huh? Mm. no mm, yes Now, let me ask you in general. This is a question in general. Can I make questions using a demonstrative pronoun? Can I create I... questions? Is that possible? No. If you say yes, por favor, in the chat, I need a yes. Todos los que piensen que sí, please. Type yes. Vamos a ver si es cierto que todo se recuerda. So in the chat, please, everyone, todos, type in yes. Si piensan que sí, type in no, if you think that no, okay? So just let me see. Vamos a ver. Okay, I got Nidia. She said yes. Gabriela, she also said yes. Nobody else? Nadie más? Okay, Elizabeth, she also say yes. What about the other ones? Okay, Alba, yes. But teacher preguntó que si teníamos preguntas o nos había quedado claro. Lo... No, no, no. I said, no. can we create questions using demonstrative pronouns? Ah, Mm -hmm. I, what about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? I cannot see Omar's, Ana Cevedo, Carla, Catherine, Teresita, Erika, Ulises, Adrián, Maricela. Oh, Teresita already said yes. What about the other ones? Karen, Juan Fernando. Uh, voy entrando, no sé qué es la pregunta, no sé. I, I ask you in general. Can I create questions using a demonstrative pronoun? If you think that yes. the, the question or the answer is yes, type yes on the chat. If you think that is no, type no. Okay. Como que se dieron copia, vea. Una dijo yes y todos yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, uh, I, I couldn't see, aún no veo, okay, Maricela, okay. I cannot see still Adrián, aún no ha dicho absolutely nothing. Omar, Ulises, and who else? Catherine as well. Oh, Adrián already said yes, okay. Yo escribo yes, pero no, no lo puede mandar. Okay, but at least you say you're saying yes. Omar say no. Okay, Omar, thank you so much for that no. Gracias por ese no. Can you explain me why? Puedes explicarme por qué no? Omar. Hello. Hello. Um, well, la verdad es que... Um, uh, me está preguntando que si podemos este, 
hacer y contestar este, o si hemos contestado la pregunta. No, no. La pregunta que le hice a todos fue, ¿puedo crear preguntas usando pronombres demostrativos? Yes. Uh, pues eh, crear preguntas utilizando pronombres demostrativos. Ajá. Ok. Imagino que en verbo tú dice. Sí. So your answer is yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Gabriela Sanchez. Can you tell me or can you give me an example using a question where? Well, actually making a question using a demonstrative pronoun. Okay. okay. Is this my new house? Excellent. What is the answer for that, Nidia? What is the answer for that question? She said, is this my new house? How would you answer that question? ¿Cómo responderías esa pregunta? This is my new question? house. Oh, listen to the question she said. She said, is this my new house? Yes, it is. Just my new is. house. Are you sure? Yes, it is my new house. Oh, this yes. is yes. my new house. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, this is not my new house. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver esto. Okay, todos, please, everyone, todos. Responder esa pregunta en el chat. Now, la respuesta que ustedes piensen que es la correcta. La, pre la pregunta de Gabriela fue, ¿Is this my new house? ¿Cómo responderían esa pregunta? Los leo a todos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver quién lo dice correctamente. Repítalo. ¿Is this my new house? <risa> Ok, Juan Fernando, ya tengo Juan Fernando's answer and Maricela's answer. Gabriela, already said something as well. Elizabeth, ok, as well. Omar, as well. Mm -hmm. I will repeat the question. Is this my new house? Is this my new house? What about the other ones? Okay. Okay. Todavía me falta Karen, Catherine, Erica, Carla Flores, Adrián. Ajá. Okay, Karen. Okay. Ulises. Okay. Chicos, de todas las respuestas que veo acá, solo tengo one, two, three, three, let me see, four, five, no, four. De entre yeah. todos los que estamos acá, chicos, only four of you, solo cuatro de ustedes got it correctly. Y somos 15, somos 15, 15 de cuatro. La mayoría me está utilizando personal pronouns, el pronombre personal it. Cuando no es así, recuérdense que dijimos si la pregunta va con un pronombre demostrativo, yo voy a responder con un pronombre demostrativo. That means, significa que si la pregunta de ella fue, 
Is this my new house? La respuesta va a ser corta. Puedo usar de forma corta y puedo decir Yes, this is. Forma larga. Yes, this is my new house. See? ¿Sí? So now you can see whether you are understanding or not, ¿ok? Espero que todos estén practicando, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? So thank you so much for participating, guys. I think that this is enough. Esto es suficiente para que ustedes vean en qué, which are the points that you need to study, ¿ok? What do you have to study and things like that. So for today's class, guys, today... We have, um, let me see, before going to another one, let me see if there's any other question. Mm -hmm. All right. So for today, guys, we have prepositions. Have you ever heard of prepositions? Have you ever heard? Yes. Prepositions, they are very important. Preposiciones son muy importantes, ¿sí? Today we are going to focus, nos vamos a enfocar, we are going to focus in two different types of prepositions. Number one, prepositions of place. Number two, prepositions of time, ¿sí? Preposiciones de tiempo, preposiciones de lugar. So we gotta, like, try to understand, or if you have, remember, guys, If you have questions, do not hesitate. See, no duden, do not hesitate and ask any question. Hacer cualquier pregunta. This is the only time, this es el único momento where we can practice our English. So it's very important that you understand what we are explaining, okay? So let's go. First of all, antes que todo, we are going to start with prepositions of time. Today, we are going to focus on three. Vamos a enfocar en tres. At, in, on. Yes? Those three are going to be the main ones that we are going to be talking about prepositions of time. So, let's go. Here we have a chart. Aquí tenemos un cuadro. Here we have a chart of how or the usage that we have to give these three prepositions of time. Example, when we use, cuando utilizamos at, lo vamos a utilizar para un tiempo, un lugar o un momento preciso. Es decir, example, if I say at three o'clock, a las tres en punto, At 10.30 a.m., a las 10.30 a.m., at noon, al mediodía, at dinner time. What does dinner time mean? La cena. La cena. At bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. Just... Keep this in mind. ¿Por qué? Porque las tres significan en. ¿Sí? Si yo digo o oh, a. Oh, ah, si yo digo at three o'clock, a las tres en punto. ¿Sí? So we gotta be really careful with that because sometimes, algunas veces, it might be a little bit complicated. Yes? It can be confusing. It can be complicated. Do not remember how to use this. So, please, um, I'm listening to some kind of interference. Can you please um, turn your microphones off? Turn them off, please. Okay. All right. So I think that we, okay. Now, is there any question regarding to the preposition of, of is this preposition of time or this preposition of time? I'm sorry, at, is there any question regarding to that? Hay alguna pregunta de eso? Dudas, 
No? If there is no questions or doubts, we are going to move to the preposition in. Uh, I have a question. What's your question, sir? Uh, the proportion at is only time. No, uh, I said no. time, things, plans, places, but it got or it needs to be precise. Precise time. Un tiempo preciso. Significa que tú estás seguro que vas a estar en ese lugar. Preciso. All right, mm -hmm. that's okay, the thanks. only difference, okay. So now we go in, vamos a la preposition in. How do we use a preposition in? Como la utilizamos, la preposition in? Very simple. La preposition in, we are going to use it with months, para meses, years, años, decades, décadas, centuries, Siglos and seasons, estaciones. For example, in May, en mayo, in summer, en verano, in 1990s, ¿sí? 1990, or in the 1990s, en los 1990. Or in the next century, in the próximo siglo, in the ice age, in la edad de hielo, in the past, in el pasado, in the future, in el futuro. So remember, in we are going to use it months, years, decades, centuries, and seasons. Okay? So at this point, is there any question about the preposition in? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, what's your question? Uh, and the second example, mm -hmm. uh, lleva una T, una ta. Da. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y en el second, el, el, Third and second, mm -hmm. no lleva la ta. Okay. No importa. Um, when we say, cuando yo utilizo sin el da, y yo digo in summer, yo estoy diciendo en verano en general. ¿Sí? Yo estoy hablando de un verano en general. ¿Qué pasa si yo ahora le agrego el artículo da? Y yo digo in the summer, en el verano. Yo me puedo referir a en el verano de este 2021, del 2021. That's the only difference. Esa es la única diferencia. Okay, si yo okay. no utilizo da, yo estoy hablando del verano in general. I'm saying, oh uh, yeah, that's the only difference. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Is there any other question so far? All right, so if there is no questions, let's move on to the preposition on. This one, we are going to use it for days and dates. Para días y para fechas. See? ¿Sí? Example, on Sunday, ¿qué día es Sunday? Domingo. Domingo. ¿Qué día es Tuesday? Martes. 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 Excellent. Very good. So I can say on Sunday, on Tuesday, or I can say on 6 March, on 25 December 2010, on Christmas. Esto es para fechas específicas. Es decir, eventos también como Día de la Independencia, Día del Padre, Día de la Madre. Holidays, le vamos a llamar como fechas festivas, holidays, okay? So, also, you are going to say, vamos a utilizar para fechas de cumpleaños. If I ask you, when is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? And in my case, in, como ejemplo, I'm going to say, okay, my birthday is on 
March 18th. That's my case, okay? As an example, si ¿sí? vamos a utilizar, we are going to use the preposition on. Is this clear, guys? Is everything clear at this point? Is there any question? Because here, ya terminamos con preposition at, in, on. So before moving on, antes de moverme at the next one, that are the preposition of place, is there any question so far? Okay, well, there's no questions. So moving on, here we have some examples. And I will need, let me see, Nivia, you will help me with number one, Luis, number two, Juan Fernando, number three, uh, Elizabeth Hirong, number four, Gabriela, number five, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Teresita, number six, Oma, uh, Alba, number seven, Ulises, number eight, Adrián, number nine, and the last one, Carla Flores. Go ahead. I have a meeting at nine. I have a meeting at a. A. nine a.m. Mm -hmm. Very a. good. Mm -hmm. Number two. The shop closes at midnight. The shop closes at midnight. Excellent. Number three. Jane went went home at lunchtime. Excellent. Number four. In England, mm -hmm. in it oh, often, mm -hmm. it snow in December. In England, it often snows in December. Very good. Number five. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Excellent. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? Excellent. What about number six? There shall be a lot of progress in the next century. There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Excellent. What about the following one? The next one. Do you work? On Monday, Mondays. Do you, do you work on Mondays? Excellent. The next one. Her birthday is on 20 November. Her birthday is on 20 November. Excellent. And the last one. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Excellent. Is there any word or any uh, vocabulary that you don't understand from this part? Any vocabulary or you understand everything? What is the meaning meeting? Meeting, reunión. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. A question. Mm -hmm. uh, it often? It often, eso es eh, muy a menudo. See? ¿Sí? Muy a menudo. That's what it means. What of, is word think? Think. Uh, yes. The verb think. Yes. Verbo pensar. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think. Okay. Is there any other word or any other vocabulary that you don't understand from that part? No. Okay. So moving on, we have now prepositions of place. And in this one, we are going to see a lot of prepositions. En esta sí vamos a ver varias, okay? So I have some examples right there, as you can see. Hay algunos ejemplos ahí, such as behind. Do you know what behind means? Atrás. In, atrás. In front of. Enfrente de. Between. Between. Entre. 
the no. next the next eh, la siguiente uh -huh. the next all right so we are going to see a lot of preposition of place that are going to help us to understand a little bit more about how to use them okay so let's start let's start with the first one we have in front of frente de i have let me see one two three four four volunteers i need four volunteers all right teacher Number no. number one, Luis. Number two, Nidia. Who else? Quem más? I'm teacher. Okay, Adrián. Number three, and who else? Carla. Sí. Si. Okay, si, teacher. Carla. Yes. Number four. So number one, Luis. Number two, Nidia. Number three, uh, Adrián. Number four, Carla. Go ahead. Okay. A band plays their music in front of. An audience. Okay, a band plays their music in front of an audience. Very good. Number two. The teacher stands in front of the students. Excellent. The teacher stands in front of the students. Excellent. Number three. The man is the man is standing. In the line in front of me, Smil, Smil's bell. Okay, the man standing in, in the line in front of me smells bad. See, ¿Sí? dice que el hombre huele feo, verdad? El hombre que tiene enfrente huele feo. ¿Sí? Number four. Teenagers normally squeeze their seats in front of a mirror. Mm -hmm. So it says that teenagers, los adolescentes, normalmente se sacuden su in front of the mirror. Yes? So do you understand the, the sentences in number one? What do you understand by that, uh, Gabriela? What do you understand by sentence number one? Repeat, teacher. What do you understand? of sentence number one. La banda toca música en frente de la audiencia. De una audiencia, very good. De una audiencia. But uh, what about you in number two, uh, Teresita? What do you understand by that sentence? La palabra stands. That's the verb. Es un verbo. Se para. Pararse. Cuando le dicen stand up, párese. Mm -hmm. El profesor se para enfrente de los estudiantes. Excellent. What about number three, Alba? What do you understand by that sentence? Oh, is Alba here? No. Oh. What do you understand by sentence number three, Alba? Okay. El hombre que está enfrente huele mal. El hombre parado no. enfrente, en la línea de enfrente de mí, huele mal. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Okay, and the last one, la última, I already said it, okay? So, but as you can see, yes. Es mil, es mel. No, el verbo But, smell sin la S es oler. Smell. Uh -huh. El verbo oler. Yo huelo, tú hueles. Y similar. lleva la S porque va en tercera persona. Excellent. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So as you can see here, we already know that in front of, it means frente de. So let's move on. Here we have the preposition of place behind. And I have one, two, three examples. I need three volunteers. No los mismos, another person. Joe. Who is Hi, Joe? boy. Yo, teacher. Alejandra. Alejandra, okay. Teresita. Teresita as well. And if I'm not mistaken, Elizabeth, did you say me as well? No? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be 
Number one, Alejandra. Number two, Teresita. And number three is going to be uh, Elizabeth. But first, primero, we are going to read a brief explanation, una pequeña explicación that it says, behind is the opposite of in front of. It means at the back, at the back part of something. Significa la parte de atrás de algo. Behind, atrás. So let's go, Alejandra, number one. When the teacher writes on the whiteboard, the students are behind him or her. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What do you understand by that, Alejandra? Cuando el maestro escribe... Um, the whiteboard, la pizarra. The whiteboard, I don't know, ah, en la pizarra. Eh, los estudiantes están atrás de él o de ella. Excellent. Number two, Teresita. Sería, eh, perdón, profe, eh, sería la primera, ¿verdad? Porque ella acaba de leer la segunda. No, she read number two, eh, number one. Ella leyó la uno. But, eh, when the teacher grades. No, that's not. That's number one. Esa es la número uno. This one is for you. Who? Okay. Who is that person behind the mask? Okay. What do you understand by that? Hmm. ¿Quién es esa persona detrás de la máscara? Who is that person behind the mask? What okay. about number three, Elizabeth? I slowly down because there was a police car behind me. Behind me. Behind okay. me. It says, me detuve un poco, me, me calmé un poquito, porque había un carro de policía detrás Atrás de, de mí. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, este, si tenía duda con esa palabra, slowly down. Slowly down or slow down es un, le llamamos palabras compuestas, que las dos unidas tienen un solo significado, que es detenerse. Okay, All right. So let's move on. And now we have the preposition of place between. That means entre. So it says that between normally refers to something in the middle of two objects, things, or places, or even animals, as you can see. Quiere decir algo que está en el medio de cosas, objetos, lugares, or animals. I have three, uh, three more examples. So now I'm going to choose Ulises for number one, Juan Fernando for number two, and uh, Ana for number three. So, go ahead. Well, I think Ulysses is not there, probably. So, uh, let me see, Catherine. There Gray. are mountains between oh. Oh, okay. Chile and Argentina. It says there are mountains between Chile and Argentina. It means hay montañas entre Chile and Argentina. Okay, number two. Juan Fernando. Okay. Uh, the number five is between the number four and six. Excellent. And the last one, Ana. There, there is a saying, mm -hmm. the English channel, mm -hmm. between Eng England and France, England and France. Okay, it says there is a sea, the English channel, between England and France. Hay un océano, entre paréntesis, el canal inglés, between, entre, Inglaterra y Francia. All right. So is there any question regarding to the prepositions that we just saw? Any, any questions so far? So far? Not so for the moment. 
Okay, excellent. Let's move on. Here we have next to and beside. Next to and beside mean the same thing. Significan lo mismo. And they refer to a thing or person that is at the side of another thing. See? ¿Sí? Se refieren las dos significan como a la par. See? ¿Sí? A la par. That's the meaning of next to or beside. So let's see. I have one, two, three, four. Any volunteer in general? Voluntarios in general. I am. Who is this you? Yo. Alejandra. One. Alejandra, number one. Nidia, number two. And? Juan, number three. And number four. Number four? Perfect. Present. Oh, Omar. So, number one. Let's go, Alejandra. At a wedding, mm -hmm. the bride stands next to the groom. Excellent. En una boda, la novia está parada a la par del novio. The bride stands next to the groom. Okay, number two. Groom. Guards stand next to the entrance of the bar. Guards, guards stand next guards to the stand. entrance mm -hmm. of the bank. Los guardias se paran in, eh, a la par de la entrada del banco. Number three. He walked before, sorry, uh, he walked beside me as we went down the street. He walked beside me as we went down the street. El caminó junto a mí o a la par mía mientras caminábamos hacia abajo de la calle. ¿Sí? And the last one, Omar. Hello. Um, in the part of town, there is a, a folk part inside the road, so you have to be careful. Excellent. It says, in this part of the town, there isn't a footpath besides the road, road, so you have to be careful. It means that in esta parte del pueblo, no hay una, a lo que nosotros le llamamos cebras. See? The lines in the street, a la par de la calle. So, hay que ser cuidadosos. You have to be careful. So, I think that there's no questions besides this. No hay preguntas de esto. We're going to move on. Este, yo tengo una pregunta. Okay, um, Nidia, what's your question? Eh, ¿Cuándo se va a usar el next to? ¿Y cuándo se va a usar el beside? If there's, there's no necessarily, no hay una diferencia exacta entre las dos, ya es que las dos significan lo mismo. Lo único que se utilizan son sinónimos, ¿sí? No importa si tú usas beside or next, las dos are going to mean the same. Mm -hmm. They are synonyms, son sinónimos. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Teacher. Yes. Sir. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And the verb walk. Eh, mm -hmm. Ahí está en pasado. pasado Past. Por yes. el e. Por eso se le pone la E y la D. Yes. No. A los verbos yes. regulares, sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Sí, porque sería, si fuera presente, walking, ¿verdad? No, walk. No, walk. 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 No, lo, no la, L, la letra L no es pronunciada. Solo decimos mm, walk. 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 Mm -hmm. walk. Uh -huh. Ok. All Thank right. you, Tisho. Ok, you're welcome. So. Let's move on to this part, above or over. These ones are, um, again, these ones are synonyms, son sinonymos. Above and over have similar meanings. Both mean at a higher position, but above refers to being directly, vertically above you. 
¿Qué significa? Para esta sí tenemos diferencia. Ambas significan sobre. La diferencia es que above, yo estoy parado en una forma vertical y algo está arriba de mí sin tocarme. Entonces, I'm going to use above. I can say the roof, el techo, is above me. Está encima o sobre mí. If I use over, si, si utilizo over, que también es encima, with the difference that over es que está encima de algo. Es decir, el objeto está tocando otro objeto, pero está encima. Am I clear? Is that clear? Yes. Este, yes, clear eh, as the water. Claro eh, como el agua. Este, uh -huh. En la plataforma yo estuve viendo esos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm, pero ahí me parecía que para decir encima era on. También, también se puede utilizar on. Porque on y over son también, eh, eh, aparte de ser una preposición of time, aparte de ser una preposición de tiempo, también se puede utilizar como preposición of place, como preposición de lugar. Es decir, si yo digo on, es como que yo estuviera diciendo over. ¿Por qué? Porque un objeto está encima de otro objeto tocándose, pero está encima, ¿sí? Son sinónimos. Okay. Above sí tiene un poquito de diferencia, ya que esa no te toca. No toca nada, okay. no toca otro objeto, pero sí está sobre o encima. Ok. All right. Thanks. So, um, Profesor, yes. Eh, yo también estaba eh, viendo los apuntes que tengo de la plataforma y de lo mm -hmm. que usted nos está enseñando ahorita. Mm -hmm. Y sí veía mm -hmm. la palabra in. En in. Este, en, eh, ajá. Y este, ahorita que estaba usted explicando sobre uh, about uh -huh. y en uh -huh. over, este, yo busqué y es, aquí decía on. Por eso me quedé, y aprovechando que él preguntó, pues también yo quería preguntar sobre el in. In, el, el caso de in y on, eh, in significa cuando lo utilizamos como preposition of place es dentro de es decir yo estoy en un escritorio y meto mi teléfono en una de las casillas que tienen los desk entonces yo digo my cell phone is in the desk quiere decir que está en pero no necesariamente diciendo en sino en de dentro de algo I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say Sí, no sé yes. si entienden a qué me refiero. Yes. All right. So, is there any other question, guys? ¿Algo otra pregunta, like those ones? No. Todo claro como el agua. Vamos a ver si. Uh, es... uh -huh. No, no. I got no? a question. Say it. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I have already uh, talked with someone that's American. Right, mm -hmm. but they used to use in and on, but they don't used to use above, under, or those things, right? No, they they did not like to use that because those preposition of place are very professional. Let's say it like that. Son como bien profesionales. If you want to speak like oh, very professional, como un inglés muy profesional, you can say oh. Above, ¿sí? Incluso the pronunciation, la pronunciación es como un poco de status, ¿sí? Normalmente, Americans, they use in, on to refer to something. They do not use above, but it's important that you know what above means. Just in case, if someday you see uh, like publicity or you see something in a video or something like that, you are going to already know what above means. Mm -hmm. So, no questions? Okay. No questions. Let's go with the exercises then. So, 
you already know what to do. Take screenshots, photos, or something like that, and let me know when you're done so we can move on. Are you done? Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Number two. Are you done? Yes. And number three. Okay, so those are the three exercises that we are going to work with. If we are not able to complete... Oh my God. Oh, well, I don't know if he's trying to say something, but there's like a big interference over there. So um, we're going to go, guys, to the breakout rooms. We are going to work on these exercises. Please, todos participando, ¿verdad? Porque hay algunos que se quedan en el anonimato y mientras otros hablan, hablan, hablan y hablan. Y los demás calladitos ahí en la esquina nada más. So let's go. Join your groups, please, and try to work on the exercises. I will be checking all of you. Gloria, are you having problems? Algún problema para conectarse? Ana? No. No, okay, cool. And number the new step so on January. También es on, on January. January. On January. Y la tercera que sería at night. It's better to get taxi if you are out alone at night. At night. She was married on September. Uh, 
the usual go the show of friends in the summer. In the summer, see, sí, yes, in the summer. In in oh. the summer. Yes. Colum Columbus sailed to Americas. In the at the central at the central. central. Uh, this is Hello. Correct. El otro sería la está detrás sería behind 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 the plant sí verdad behind sí the plant it's in front of in the front snake in front of the snake uh -huh. está enfrente de la de la culebra de la culebra uh -huh. front yeah. of ah pero Ah, entre medio. Ese uh -huh. sería between. 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 Sí. The cats in between. And the pop. Vaya, la siguiente. Next. Uh, no te sería esta, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. Lucy. Sí. Is arriving. Sí. Position of time. At. Lucy. Ay, pero deja la quieta. Lucy is arriving. Como está echando. El, uh, está con el tiempo preciso, ¿verdad? Sería at. Ah. Uh, no. Ay, pero fechas. deja la quieta para leerlo. <risa> para, no, pero para pero está diciendo ay, febrero, no, no 13, lo ver. febrero 13 dice a las it's on um, uh, the first uh, it's, it's the first Lucy uh -huh. is Lucy arriving, is arriving, arriving. arriving. On. on on Febrero, February. No, pero. Sería. Yes, because uh, we use. In, in February. One. In February. The, the because in, on. No. Oh, we on. use on from days on. and dates. Pero. Sería no, at, el, el on, el at, on no se usa sería. para, no, para no, solo sería. días y fechas eh, festivas, digamos. In February, no. sí, in February, eh, febrero, ay, 13. On February. On, no, at, on, on February. <laughs> on February, at 8 At uh, eight o'clock. In the, in the morning. Yes, verdad? Uh -huh. Tienen que tienen que dejar de compartirla. Para que, pueda puse, uh -huh. para que pueda poner a otra persona. La que, eh, quien compartió pues la, la primera. Persona, que o sea, la... O sea, la persona que está compartiendo ahorita tiene que dejar de compartir para que la pueda compartir okay. alguien más. O la persona que está compartiendo ahorita tiene que compartirla. Okay. Segunda. ¿Quién tiene la segunda? Yo, Yo la tengo. Va, va. Ahí 
Ahí está. Dice Lucy está. Ay, ay, ay. Lucy is. No, no alcanzo a ver. Arvin. Viajando. Lucy is. Ah. Está viajando. Ahí sería. At. Uh, arriving is llegando. Ah, llegando. <ríe> On. Gracias, teacher. Oh. Ay, sí, ah, no me recuerdo es, es fecha es, on? es fecha es on. fecha no, sería no, on. Es on on es on on February sería on at la siguiente sería at eight o'clock Ajá. Uh, no, sí, a ti. Sí, a ti. Okay, guys, um, did you complete all the exercises? Were you able to complete them? Did you complete the exercises? No, teacher. No, but I, I'm guessing that you complete at least number one. The first one, I think that that is completed, right? Yes. Okay, great. Number one, yes. So um, in this case, because the majority of you didn't complete number two and number three, that means that those are going to be homework for tomorrow, okay? So we are going to try to resolve right now the first one because I'm pretty sure that the majority of you already complete that one. So let's go with the first one. And it's going to be Teresita number one, Nidia number two, uh, Juan Fernando, number three, uh, Alba, number four, Luis, number five, uh, Gabriela, number six, Catherine Reyes, seven. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, la primera sería, it's under the umbrella. It's under the umbrella. Very good. Number two. Is next to the snowman. No snowman. It's next to the snowman. Mm -hmm. Number three. It's in the bird cage. It's in the bird cage. Excellent. Next one. Well, I think Alba is not there apparently. So Karen. It's behind the plant, the plant. Oh, okay. So the, who got the next one? Hello? Who got the next one? It's in front of the snake. It's in front of the snake, good. Next one. It's, it's on the frog. It's on the frog. And the last one. The last one. Carla. Carla Flores. Hola, oh, I Sorry, didn't. teacher. The last one. It's between the cat and the fox. Excellent. It's between the cat and the fox. All right, guys. So that's going to be pretty much it for today. Remember, the exercises that we did not complete it are going to be part of your homework for tomorrow. So try to complete them. Please also try to work on the platform. Some of you, I estado verificando that some of you 
uh, are still on section one or two. Algunos todavía están en sección uno y dos. So I don't know what's going on there, guys. Try to, um, try to keep working on the platform. If you can still go over there. And thank you so much for algunas personas que veo que están helping each other. Que están ayudando a los demás. That's very good. Thank you so much for that. So that's going to be all for today. See you tomorrow, same time, same hour by the same channel, okay? Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.